hot, she's sexy, she's funny, and wow, don't stop, get busy, we love it, your style. It's just another chapter in life, bought a new house after the night, no butlers and no maids, you gotta do your own thing your way. Go Kendra, go Kendra, go Kendra, go Kendra, you on your own now. <laughs> Viewer discretion is advised. Viewer discretion is advised. Me, DJ Academics, aka Livingston Allen, okay, have never, never been questioned, cooperated, talked to, been like, there's been nothing, anything with Daniel Hernandez, and I'm calling him by his legal name because I want to show you how serious this gets. This morning was the first time I talked to attorneys that I had to go talk to attorneys because I'm like, these niggas are getting out of hand. Because it's like, I know a lot of these dudes don't like me on a media level, but if y'all trying to put shit out in the universe to almost try to get a nigga killed, because this is serious shit. When you make certain accusations, it's very serious. It's the first time I had to be like, I let niggas run with lies all day about me. Yo, I, I did this. It's funny when you're like, yo, acting 6 9 is fucking... Bro, I might not like you saying that, but fuck it, man. Like, it's a joke. I get it. Saying academics is cooperating with police. Now, you're then, there's, this is real shit going on. There's people who are looking at these dumbass blogs and say, if, wait, if we find out who or what is giving information or cooperating, putting people, yeah, we gonna do something. Don't put my name in it if I ain't do nothing. So, I never talked to the cops with anything with Daniel Hernandez, aka 6ix9ine, Kefano Jordan, aka Shoddy, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to tell you where all this is coming from, and I can't stop, like, something says don't call people out because you, you, like, you ruin a relationship. But fuck these niggas, bro. These niggas literally are liars. Hold on. Give me one second. Give me one second. Yo. Nah. Bro, he don't like me neither. He, he ran with it too? Bro, could you screenshot and send it to me? I'm suing all these motherfuckers, bro. What is that? Ex yo, yo, I'm on a stream right now. Let, let, me, let, me just, let me just do my stream. Yo, send me when the when, when the shit's live, right? Yeah. Yo, 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 yo. None of these niggas will put out a retraction. And I get it, my platform is bigger than all these niggas, but they will get their little little 20,000 people believing a lot. Yo, bro, let me call you afterwards. Yo. I'm on the stream, I'm on the stream, okay? All right, bro. Okay. All right. So, we won't get straight into it. And and by the way, you know, I guess I could start calling out names. My son, who's a fake community activist, hasn't vendetta against me. He doesn't like my platform. He doesn't like all type of things. I get it. A lot of people don't like me because I cover certain type of rappers. But to act like or, or, or insinuate, and I see he was trying to, like, he he's one of the people who started this. Oh, academics allegedly. No, my nigga, like, you're literally, you have a bunch of street niggas on your page. You're throwing my names out there that you're trying to throw me to the wolves. I get it. You don't like me that much. But this is straight fake and false. And to be honest, like, you niggas is real wild. So I, I, I look today, and by the way, everybody who's posting this false. So to so, so start it off, right? There's an article that said, Shoddy. By the way, me and Shoddy, we're cool. From what I know. Shoddy's lawyer told a blog that I am the snitch against Shoddy. I don't know if it means Shoddy and 6 9 or everybody. But it doesn't matter who against who. I've never talked to no one. Now, let me tell you, and I got to give y'all the fucking history lesson of where it came from. But before that, I want to get to calling out niggas. Why is it being circulated so much? Because this is the fakest news ever. But why is nobody doing no research? Why? By the way, any reputable source, if you really look, you can tell who's reputable or not. Reputable source haven't posted it. All the fake news, wannabe journalists, we don't like academics, they're running with this shit. 
my mixtapes posted. My my mixtapes. You guys are a failed mixtape website. You got an, you had an agenda and a beef with me because Meek Mill drops. You paid Meek Mill like a hundred thousand to drop the four four shit when he was going at it with him and Drake through y'all. And every time that my platform talked about it and I said y'all could get it on mixtape sites, I never mentioned your name. So you felt like I was sending traffic to Dad Piff and live mixtapes and all these other people. You felt I was like cutting your legs under you. But I told you guys then I don't have any type of fucking allegiance to you in terms of telling them to go to your site or your app to get motherfucking meek shit since then you guys like mixtape sites are complete completely done apple and spotify crushed y'all now you're a, a fucking almost a blogger just like me and that little thing you had against me back then you blocked all my social media accounts you blocked me on twitter and on instagram or at least one of my pages on instagram now you just anything anytime you see something bad about me you're the first to post it's Biscuit. I don't even know who you are. To be honest, world biggest blogger in where? Maybe in your crib. In your little crib, my nigga. But you ain't fucking with nothing over here. You're, you, my nigga, you're an ant compared to a fucking elephant when it comes to me. But I get maybe it's jealousy. I don't know. Or maybe it's just you want clicks for today. I seen you post it. That was clearly false. Why did you do that? And I seen when I commented, you just delete it. But you know what? It's not only the deletion. I'm telling everybody and you're going to see the bias against me. If you don't keep the same energy, by the way, let me let, let let's get even further, right? Not only is this not true, I did every day struggle today, and the shit was weighing on my mind. I got a call today from Van from TMZ saying, Act, why are we hearing this? And I explained to them, I said, Yo, the site that put it out is not credible. All they do is post fake news. We're about to go pull up the site right now. In a second. He said, Yo, Charlemagne hit me with this and says this is wildly responsible for anybody to put this out. I called Charlemagne, I said, Charlemagne, I've never ever I've never ever thought like this, but please, could you give me like your info for attorneys to file lawsuits on motherfuckers who are literally, it's not only they're trying to tear my brand down, they want that, I, I work in New York City, nigga, I gotta go, I'm in Jersey now, I gotta go back to New York, I was there this morning, I gotta go back to New York, they want somebody who sees something on a blog, oh, academics is a nigga who got all these niggas locked up, let's do something to them, nigga, I'm always in New York. So I called him, I said, yo, I got to get at these websites and these motherfuckers who's repeating this. And by the way, the amount of clicks this website is getting, they making $100,000. I'm coming for you niggas. I, listen, I, some lies, and I'm, I'm going to show you how much lies I've been posting, and then I'm going to show you how retarded everybody else who reposted it is. But this should nothing but let y'all know how much people don't like me. You might not even like me. But... When you see this amount of, like, yo, just flagrant disregard for even your job and your brand. If y'all, listen, let me tell you this. I'm worth some shit now. I've made a lot. Certain shit I don't even touch or post if I don't have a credible source. Niggas is posting screenshots and saying, what's up? That's not how shit works. Nigga, you're liable now. You have now fucking participated to fucking defame me. Now... Let's, okay, so after I get off the phone with them, because I, I, you know, I'm so fucking long with but that's what it is. After I get off the phone with them, I told him, I said, I'm going to call Shadi's lawyer directly, immediately. I called him a couple times. He's in court. His lawyer is Scott Lehman, the same guy who's representing Troy Ave. And Troy Ave, Troy Ave has a case against him as well, federal case. I called Scott Lehman, no answer. Call him again. No answer. Call him again. Say he's in court. I said, bro, step out ASAP. Niggas is literally doing the most online. He gets out of, he steps out of court and calls me back. And I said, listen, I know you're not into all this online stuff, but there's a website running a story to say that you, who represents Shadi, aka Kefano Jordan, is claiming that I'm academics, me. I'm some type of snitch who fucking got these guys locked up. And he said, what the fuck? I've never spoken on this case, period. We haven't even got to that really in court. We haven't, I, this is completely false. I've never talked to anyone. I say, I, I say, Scott, this is all good that you're telling me, but there's a million people online who's about to believe in the next couple hours that I fucking snitch on somebody. Like, that's not okay. And now my safety is now in danger, like, like my welfare is in danger because I have to go out there to work. 
They, uh, I mean, he says, fine. I'm going to put out a public statement basically saying all that shit's a lie. And by the way, the statement is coming out. Um, he reached out to TMZ, and TMZ should be publishing it any minute. I don't know if it's up yet. Like, I got assurances it's going to be up soon. Um, and I have the statement myself. Like, to be honest, I have a recorded statement, and I have the statement in my email. I just don't want, like... I told him, I said, contact the third party, because if, if, if I just come out with, oh, I talked to Shadi's lawyer, he said he never said that. The fucking idiots online who still hate me, you're lying. You didn't talk to him. We believe this fake site. So let, let's bring up this site who started this rumor, right? And let's keep in mind all the motherfuckers, and if you see anybody who posts this, screenshot it. If y'all got something that's worse shit, I'm coming for it. Most of you niggas is dead broke, so I get it. I can't really come get none from you. But if you got some shit, I want it. This is flagrantly out of bounds if you think you have a brand that's rooted in media. This would be so nice with all the pictures. Yo, yo, all right, give me this, all right, let me ask you a question real quick, just answer. Because I, I don't want y'all to feel like, even though, like, it's, it's, I don't have to prove all this shit, like, it's gonna be there. The lawyer's putting out a statement. But I want to show y'all how fake this website is, and I want to show you how scummy the people who are running with this really are, because they... They don't even realize that this site is all fake shit. This site also ran a story to say, all right, I just got to talk about it. Like, y'all could go look on it. It's hiphopoverload.com, okay? And I know I'm giving them hella traffic. This is exactly what they want. I'm probably going to make them $100,000 today. That's all good. But the site is hiphopoverload.com. They ran all the fake stories that I see other idiots running with. They're the one who said, they're the one who, what they do is this. They'll take a fake story. No, they'll take something that's actually factual. And they'll mix in what the propaganda in conversation, like water cooler talk, and act like they got proof. So when 6 9 goes to jail, everybody's saying, yo, is 6 9 going to get beat up? You know what they say? He got beat up. Right? Not only that. So go, look on the site and keep scrolling down. I wish it would fucking just load that you guys can see it on my screen here. So they'll, they'll run, oh, he got beat up. Which, by the way, was not accurate. Secondly, they'll say, bro, they ran a story to say he's paying $15,000 a day to MS-13 gang. This is a fucking website that everybody is citing. Six, like, I'm, I'm going to read you their titles. I'm going to read you their titles. All right, hold on. If you even read the article, you could tell that it's a nigga. He probably don't even live in the United States. He's overseas just, like, making shit up. They're the people who came. 6 9 and his mom's bank account is not frozen. This fucking site, and I've heard Power 105, Hot 97, and others repeat that lie. It's not frozen. Their accounts are fine. You would see something that came out from court to say the feds is freezing a bank account. What happened is this website just brought it out, out, out of the air when they were talking about the arraignment. It's not true. Feds freeze 6 9s moms. This is what they posted the day of his fucking... Um, Y'all could go look at the site, man, but this should be low key. Sometimes, most time I get on stream, even if I'm like shouting, I'm like really like just like laughing inside. This shit really got me tight. I could tell they're getting so much traffic. The site can't even fucking load right now. That's how they're on shitty servers. It can't even load because I, not only me sending traffic, everybody who's looking at oh, academics is look. Feds free six nine mom's bank account, and now she can't pay her rent and may now end up end up homeless. Are you fucking kidding me, bro? They're making this shit up. <laughs> that is not true. That's not true at all. Another story they ran, like, the 6 9 shit is hot and niggas is making up lies. 6 9 cries to his lawyer for bail claiming shoddy and Trey will kill him in jail. And, it, it, okay, salacious headline. That's what I was saying, salacious headline. That's clickbait. You bring them in, but then you got to have some facts. They claim to have sources who, who are saying that Shadi is in jail. Like, like that's, that's, that's false. So the original article, um, and let me, hold on. Let me just keep reading. I wish I could put it up on the screen. It would just make for a better presentation. I'm so sorry for that. So the news of him getting jumped in jail started from this website. He did not get jumped in jail. 
despite what your favorite blogger or whoever else said, his lip wasn't swollen. It was a fucking intake photo. On how the fuck do you get jumped before you get in jail? In like, how does that make sense? They arrested the motherfucker. They they, they, they and once they, they did the intake process, that's where the picture was. How the fuck do you see bruises on a motherfucker when he's getting put in jail? The thing is, people believe that because they want to. They, People have been salivating for the point or the opportunity when 6 9 gets beat, 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 up, beat up. So this website runs it, and idiots, everybody took that and resourced it. That's what niggas are really bad at. Oh, shit, 6 9 got beat up. Didn't get beat up. False. Then they say, okay, 6 9 transferred to new jail where snitches usually go for protection after cutting deals with feds. That has, I'm just looking at the title. I'm not reading too much into it. Okay. There was an article, there's, there's a real article, he did get transferred. I ain't gonna be mad at that, even though it's slitched. I won't be mad. Right? But pretty much you're like, Loki accused him of snitching. But I ain't gonna be mad at that. Um, what else? Universal Music exposed for fabricating 6 9 and Trippy Red Beef because it almost made $100 million for the label. What the fuck? Okay, I, I won't even get mad at them for that because they're using dumbass Ebro. Ebro, you're wrong. You're fucking wrong. The 6 9 and Trippy Red Beef was, was not fabricated. Trust me, it would have been, I, I was literally there talking to people from his label that were trying to squash it. You know why? They wanted a tour with both of these fuckers. You know how much money that would make? Yeah, I've been beefing for so long. They've been telling like, they've been telling these niggas this since like, like almost May. Man, could y'all stop beefing? The reason, one of the reason why the motherfucker could not go to the, one of the reason why 6 9 did not get um, selected for XXL, Trippy was there. No label is, like, again, they didn't start beefing because of the label. If anything, the label tried to stop it, to make money. Right? Okay. Let, let's just keep reading this bullshit. I think they might be deleting shit because I saw some more shit on here. Takashi 69 pleads guilty and bank accounts froze by the feds along with his mother's. That's fucking false. What else? Okay, let me go to page one. And then I'm going to read the article that they supposedly got me on, right? Let's keep reading. Feds freeze his mom account camp. She's about to be homeless. No, that's a lie, bro. That's a lie. Like, how do you think his attorneys are getting paid? Now, will feds look into, possibly, if they could prove that he was receiving dirty money? Yeah, like, that makes sense. But don't use what makes sense and just already say it's a fact. It didn't happen yet. It would be set in court. L let's keep reading, right? Fashion Nova sues 6 9 for 300000 See, they use factual information and they put lies into it. No amount... I talk to Fashion Nova. By the way, a little announcement, because if anybody do follow me on Instagram, they don't get... I just signed a Fashion Nova deal. I'm not going to lie. Uh, yes, Ak is now on Instagram. I just signed a Fashion Nova deal. Salute to Fashion Nova. Got y'all niggas. Anyway, me and them, we have a deal. And also, I talked to them about the 6 9 shit. Like, yo, what the fuck? Like... And I got the whole ins and outs of that. Like, that's why I was like, most of you motherfuckers, just watch my video. Like, I actually tell the truth in there. The amount was not 300000 It was not It was not even actually one third of that. But this fucking fake ass website just like puts anything out. And I see random people, oh, it was 300000 He finessed them. And Fashion Nova, Fashion Nova doesn't even think 6 9 finessed them. They were like, oh, shit, it's unfortunate he got locked up. We think he's a social media. That's what they told me directly. The CEO, it's like, the CEO of the shit. Yo, we like him. Damn, we really wanted to have a long-term relationship with him because he's a really good guy at marketing, and we love marketing people. They, they're not suing 6 9 and it wasn't 300000 But, of course, people going to run with that. They had another one. Where's the MS-13 shit? They had some shit that said MS-13. I think they're deleting shit. I, I screenshot most of the shit already. I found it. So fucking sad, bro. 6 9 is reportedly paying the Latin Kings an MS-13 $15,000 a day to protect him from shoddy and Trey Wayne jail. This is the fucking site that niggas is going with. And the thing is, y'all be believing these niggas. And you know what happens? I'll prove this. And you know what niggas always say? 
Next time we'll get him next time. Like, y'all don't even doubt the niggas who put out, put out a lie. Oh, next time we'll get him. We'll get him next time. I get y'all hate me, and that's all good. You get me? That has made me very... I, I just bought my mom a house. I salute to my moms. <laughs> I'm glad what y'all hate me. It's okay for me. Trust me. But just don't be just lying like that, bruh. You get me? Because your reputation should be... Like, yo, it's Biscuit. Like, you're fucking garbage for doing that. My mixtape, I can't believe nothing you're saying if you just blatantly put out a lie. You didn't even say where it came from. You just wrote it like you found it. You're a liar. You're, you're trash. Who else? Hip Hop Mike, I heard he put it out. Nigga, you're trash too. You're like, cut it out. None of these niggas has the, has the integrity to make an apology or at least clear it up. Watch. The TMZ article is live. Go on TMZ. The second one, it says... And I, I don't even like how they put this shit, but whatever. It says, Takashi 6 9 because they want the clicks at first. And they said, DJ Academic says, I'm not the fed snitch. Read through it, but we're going to get to that. We're going to get to that. I'm just going through this website. This is the place that niggas was getting information. I don't want to call out even certain other niggas' names because y'all believe them really a lot. Think about it, people. Who, who the fuck is running with 6 9 got beat up in jail? They're fake news. Who the fuck has been running with... His bank accounts have been fro frozen. Fake news. Who's been running with most of this shit? They're fake news. So l let me even even yesterday they said Charlemagne the God blames academics for six nines arrest and calls him a snitch. Nigga, I was so shocked by that. I had to click it. I'm like Charlemagne. That was not it. They used the old clip when when when, when basically Charlemagne was going back and forth with six nine in the first interview, was saying yo academics gonna get you hurt. You get me? And, and he was like, yo, academics is a liar. But when he said that, it was it, 6 9 incorrectly. Me and, uh, not, uh, me and um, Charmaine, we talked about that. 6 9 incorrectly looked at him because he was trying to get on the Charmaine's skin and said, well, you're cool with them niggas that I don't like. And then and, and he was like, no, I'm not. He's like, yo, no, those are your people. Like, that's like your homies. And he was like, no, I'm not. And then 6 9 was like, academics told me it was. And then Charmaine said, academics is a liar, which is, makes sense if that's not fucking true. So you believe that six? I really told six nine that that was cleared up. Six nine was just trolling. Anyway, they use that clip. They repurpose it as this and claims that Charlemagne is now calling me a snitch and um, blames me for the arrest. I talked to Charlemagne. He was just getting on a plane, and shit. You know what I mean? Salute to him, and that's why I always have respect for him, um, because like despite sometimes we might have back and forth, um, like. It's, it's respectable. It's respectable. You know what I mean? We, we talked after every back and forth. And shit, I asked him, I said, nigga, when you were going through some shit in the summer, what the fuck did you, like, what's that legal team you had for all the niggas lying against you? Charlemagne was one of the only black media personalities I saw. There was, a, there was Rolling Stones, which is a big publication. They, when Lil Duval went up there and said some shit, they, they incorrectly, Rolling Stones, said that Charlemagne said some shit. The whole LGBT community was going crazy. And Charlemagne was getting a lot of heat for that. But the article from a big publication like that said he said some shit, which he didn't. So he uses, like, legal people to really, like, almost essentially get an apology. I don't know if he got paid. But I had to hit him up like, nigga, I don't need no money from most of these bum-ass niggas, but shit, what could I do legally? So let me read this, and then I'm going to read the other shit, because I don't be long. I got to go anyway. The article says Shadi's lawyer. Shadi's lawyer. These motherfuckers probably didn't know. Today I found out who Shadi's lawyer is. Nobody knew who his lawyer. First of all, when Shadi went in, and th this, this is just facts, because I keep saying people don't read the documents. Shadi told the judge, I don't have that much in my bank account. Everybody at first, except 6 9 was given a public defender. He traded out the public defender for Scott Lehman, who represents also Troy Ave. Scott Lehman is a pretty reputable guy, and that's been his lawyer. However, nobody's talked to Scott Lehman about nothing about the case. So when clearly they know I still communicate with people that have 6 9s best interests at heart, you can say 6 9 is pointing at me, right? Like, I'm involved in trying to make sure his album get out there. I'm involved in trying to make sure that whatever, at least musically, I'm still helping him out with. You feel me? The legalities and the criminal stuff, that's not on me. But that's a friend of mine still. So I know niggas wasn't going to say, oh, Oh, uh, 6 9 said, uh, um, academics said some shit about me. That would be false. Like, that, that would sound so ridiculous. It's whatever, right? But then that's why they bring Shoddy into the mix. Oh, Shoddy's lawyer. 
reveals that academics is a snitch and the feds have been have and the feds have telling on 6ix9ine. This shouldn't even make sense. Shadi's lawyer reveals that academics is a snitch. The feds, bro, no, no period, no pun um what's it called? What's the punctuation? My bad. The feds have oh, he's a snitch that the feds have telling on 6ix9ine and Treyway. Feds pressed academics with obstruction of justice charges. Are you out of your fucking mind? Now, you know where that came from? And I'm going to be honest with you. That came from these other niggas who are in the media or have a platform who don't like me speculating. Niggas like Star who will have, who will clickbait and have a whole episode like, will academics get subpoenaed and if he don't cooperate, will he get hit with a charge? Yeah, I get it. you want like a bunch of people to your live stream. I get it. You got to feed your family. I get it. I get it. So I'm not even mad at him, right? But this website sees that conversation. Then they see it on a nigga like my son's page where my son is essentially saying like, I'm the feds. You feel me? They use that and they say, oh, well, that makes sense. He got hit with an obstruction of justice charge and yeah, he buckled. You get me? So that, that was the title of the article. Let's read the article. Finally, the rat has been identified. Come the fuck on, bro. Like, if you really listen to news from that, from that outlet, bro, finally, the rat has been identified. That's the lead line. Finally, the rat has been identified. That rat, per shoddy, who was 6ix9ine's ex-manager, is none other fake BFF. So you already know they don't like me. No, fake BFF. Fake BFF DJ Academics. Shadi and his lawyer saying that the feds press academics so hard with, pot with potential obstruction of justice charges that would give him a minimal. See, see, they're already framing it for you. Yeah, all he would get is like a light 5 to 10. And he folded. He's told on his guys. <laughs> like, I'm really like, I think he's told like I'm a 9 blood. Number one. Number two. They're acting like, I'm like, uh, doesn't make sense. Anyway, we'll give him a minimum five to ten years. Nigga, I don't do crime. I don't do crime. I'm sorry. Like, it, what, what I mean I do, don't do crime is that stop the speculation here. All of anything you see in terms of charges for any artist, and no matter how cool you've seen them with me, I'm not a part of any crime they might have done. Niggas know, like, yo, with, with academics, yo, you kick it with him, you talk about music, you talk about some chicks, you can talk about regular life shit, you can even talk about industry shit. When it comes to you doing your crime, you're best off. Go do it. And then, if anything, when I ask you about it, like, as a statement, because I'm, I'm a media, uh, I'm a journalist, just to be like, oh, I don't know. And I just say, he don't know about it. <laughs> That's it. I ain't getting charged for shit. <laughs> The feds, li listen to this shit, the feds used Academics Instagram account against and made the whole, and made the whole account state's evidence. Bro, this shit doesn't even make sense, bro. The feds use, like, just think about it on a, like, a fucking sentence level. The feds use Academics account against and made the whole account state's evidence. It's a federal case, nigga. This was a fucking amateur who wrote this. It's not state's evidence. It would be federal fucking evidence. This is the fucking amateurs that, 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 that is like doing this shit. Then here's this. The feds feel that from academics close relationship with 6ix9ine, he knows inside info that only 6ix9ine and Treyway members would know. I've never been around anybody who is Treyway. I've been around most 89% of the times I've been around 6ix9ine. It's just been me and him. He knows, like, like he'll invite me to be like, yo, you want to come to this place and I'm going to have my guys there? No, no thanks. I hang out with you, like, it's one-on-one. -on -one. Like, we're friends. I, I don't know those other guys like that. No disrespect to them. Just, like, that feels like y'all might be on some different shit that I'm not be on. I like dancing and fucking doing some little funny, goofy shit. Like, we could go viral doing that. I ain't doing other shit. Anyway. So, essentially, I know nothing. <laughs> That's what I was just saying. Shadi is also telling people through his lawyer that Academics was the one who got in 6 ix ear, which forced him to fire Shadi and other Treyway members from music management team. 
do y'all remember when I was on Everyday Struggle with Wayno and I and I made that fucking statement clear? If a nigga is is surrounded by and his business is handled by, let's just say alleged gang members. Just say alleged. I don't know who gang. I don't know who not. You think academics want to give him business advice? I might tell some general shit like, yo, you, you know what I mean? This is how shit works on a business level with me. This is a deal I just did. Think I'm going to tell you who, who, who to fire, who not to fire? That's essentially taking money out of a nigga's mouth that might really try to do something. Nigga, I'm not getting involved in that. Do your thing, bro. However you were doing it, do your thing, bro. I'll give you on the surface advice. I can't tell you about personnel. Here's this. Shoddy and his lawyer promised that academics' name will be released soon in court. Documents proving their claim that academics is a snitch. Stay tuned for the update. Shoddy's lawyers promises us the document first. So clearly, that last line says this is the source that claimed they talked to Shoddy's lawyer. That everybody, the It's Biscuits and the other idiots of the world, the hip-hop Mike or hip-hop retarded, as I would like to now call him, all the other dumb fucks, the, the My Mixtapes, who else posted it? And all of them. All of them. All of them. That, they're using this source. They can't get a sentence right. They're using them. Then, what the site also does, they use a hip-hop, hot new hip-hop screenshot to be like, remember, so, so the real factual thing is that there is a confidential informant. That's, that, that's true. Like, in this case, the, U, the assistant U.S. attorney said, we have a confidential in informant. That was a revelation in court. That's actually a story. Hot new hip-hop responsibly, salute to them, they reported, okay. There's a snitch in the group. That's an accurate report. Hip Hop DX, salute to them. They report it accurately too. There is a confidential informant. Even Ball Alert, salute to them. There's a confidential informant. Doesn't say who. And to be honest, if you do a little math, it's probably somebody who is in the organization. Not a fucking blogger. <laughs> you get me? So I like I'm like I ignore all the jokes when, when people see that and they're like, well, act, we know you wouldn't like stand the pressure. I get all that. But when niggas is running it that, no, I'm the informant, like, this is fact? And told about a lawyer told you, you're wilding the fuck out. Okay, anyway, it, it's a bunch of bullshit. Hip-hop overload. If I see any nigga really cite them ever, you're not, like, I'm really trying to sue all you motherfuckers. Y'all niggas owe me a bag because I've dealt with too much pain and stress. Like, you probably took two years of my life today, so I need some money, okay? And and I will communicate that with a lawyer, really, seriously. Um, beyond that. Big leaks. So, so we have the bottom feeders. Y'all scrunching for anything. That's y'all are rats. Y'all are the rats. Y'all are rats and vultures. Y'all scrounge. We need some attention. Let's get that. The big leaks. Well, you got hundreds of thousands of millions to lose. Because if TMZ had ran this story, if TMZ had ran that story that that website has, oh my sweet Jesus, nigga, I wouldn't even show up to Everyday Struggle no more. I'm suing these motherfuckers for at least 10 mil. And I'm living great. This website, I did the math on them. I was hitting the email and did the math on them. I'm like, uh, how much money they probably got this year? 100 racks? I need that, I need that, I need that. It was TMZ? Oh, hell nah. Yes. Jackpot. But the rest of you other bloggers, you're not no biggest blogger in the world, nigga. You get me? <laughs> no. I guarantee if I hit you to lit some litigation shit, you come, to, you come to court and tell them you're fucking broke. So don't, don't be talking to the biggest blogger. My mixtapes, I know y'all got money. I know y'all got money. Y'all made y'all finessed a lot of niggas to download your bullshit app and pushed a lot of ads through that shit. Y'all got money. Cause I seen one of y'all niggas had a G-Wagon where y'all while, while, while the whole little wave was popping off mixtape apps. Yeah, y'all doing good. I need some of that. Y'all niggas have ruined my life this morning. No cap. Niggas is trying to kill me. I now have full bodyguards that's gonna escort me somewhere. Y'all gotta pay for that. Y'all gotta pay for my sanity. I'm distressed. <laughs> okay. Alright, anyway. Let's get on to the, the um, actual article. TMZ runs the article today. And by the way, they did a call me. So to my man Van up from TMZ. It says, DJ Academic, it says, Takashi 6 9 is really the top headline. And it says, DJ Academic says, I'm not the Fed snitch. Okay. It's on TMZ.com right now. Y'all could go look at it. But it says, a confidential informant working with the Fed, the confidential informant, the feds are working with in Takashi 69 racketeering case is still a mystery despite online rumors that it's a popular hip hop blogger close to the rapper. DJ Academics has been accused by another hip hop blog of being the snitch in 69's crew, but Academics tell TMZ is completely untrue. 
And I did give this statement. He, it says, he says he has zero connection to this criminal case against Daniel Hernandez and co-defendants. I view them as good people to me. All my interaction with 6 9 and Shadi, nothing but positive. Shadi got me out still one day. You feel me? Like, yo, she was cool. Like, I'm sorry. I don't have nothing bad to say about nobody. All these charges are a shock to me and do not involve me. That's facts. I have never been questioned or much less cooperated in this. I'm just a news reporter. And by the way, for all you idiots... Who'd be like, yo, act, you shouldn't be talking. My nigga, I have nothing to do with this. That's why, like, if I, if I felt a little nervous, I would have had, like, ten attorneys around me while I'm doing a, doing a uh, YouTube video and have them edit the fuck out of it to cover my ass. But they don't ask to cover. Sorry. Okay? Now, it, the article can, continues to say, this is a TMZ article, the outlet accusing academics of snitching claims to have gotten info, gotten this info from the lawyer, or no, from the lawyer of Takashi's former manager, Kefano Jordan, a.k.a. Shadi. However, Shadi's lawyer, Scott Lehman, also, I got to tweet this out. I gotta, thank you, TMZ. I did a great job. Um, Shadi's lawyer, Scott Lehman, also denies the allegation. Lehman tells us, I never made any public statement relating to this matter. Any statement attributed to me is false. I have not given anyone an interview about this case. Okay, that's essentially it. <laughs> I love this last line. Most of you have used a bias against me to push out a story without checking facts and following up with basic information. And for this, I plan to see all you bitch niggas in court. That's a fact. I would definitely go to court for that shit. That's what I would be in court. And I'd be in the court. I'd be in court showing my phone like, please, that blog, that blog, that one got money. I need that that nigga money right there. I need that. Yeah. Now I'm going to be in court. I'm hurt. And by the way, um, this has probably cost me money. I'm pretty sure I could go through my emails of deals that probably won't get completed because this fucking defamatory story has probably cost me, who knows, tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands. Who knows? I'm just saying. I need some fucking compensation for all of this bullshit. DJ Academics is full of shit. He's a bitch ass nigga because this motherfucker sits here and does what everybody else on YouTube does, entertains people and brings stories to get people to like his channel. Now, this motherfucker has made up a bunch of lies about celebrities. I've called him disrespecting Nicki Minaj, not that I'm a fan of hers, and talk shit. So because motherfuckers are calling you out on your shit, my nigga, how is you mad? That's a bitch ass nigga behavior. You're a bitch just like your supposed friend, Takashi69. Like I said from the fucking beginning, this bitch ass nigga was never Takashi69's friend. And how dare you try to sue the blogs for talking about you? You have a little status. And they're doing exactly what the fuck you do, bitch boy. Fat bitch boy. So how is your fat geeky ass even mad? Who gives a fuck? I make videos all the fucking time where people don't like what the fuck I say. And they get pissed off. I don't give a fuck. I'm going to still do my YouTube because I like to do it. So bitch, stop crying, you fat fucking geek. I can't stand your bitch ass. You annoy my life. And that's why um, Vince Mensa was going to beat your ass because you're a disrespectful motherfucker. At least I could say when I make my um, videos, I tell the truth. I don't make up shit just to get lies. Your channel is trash. And anybody that follows you is a fucking idiot, my nigga. You do reviews on bullshit music that I can never relate to. I like the Tupac, the Easy E, the Dr. Dre, Boys to Men, New Edition, all these mumble jumble rappers, bitch. Sucks, you fat bitch boy. What are you crying now? You've gotten yourself in trouble by saying you have lawyers who can give you documents to copies, bitch boy. That could cause, cause them their fucking job. So if the FBI or the DEA had to subpoena you to court, you big mother, you fat motherfucker, you're the one. Who put the business in the street, bitch. Sometimes you got to shut the fuck up, you little fat ass. And not run your fucking mouth. That's not funny. 
I mean, we all know Takashi Six Nine was gonna get in trouble for the bullshit he was doing, but that's supposedly your homie. And if you look at my pictures, uh, Takashi Six Nine was lifting up his shirt, looking at him weird. So was you fucking him or something, bitch? Seriously, I don't like you, motherfucker. You get on my fucking nerves, and people like you are so fucking annoying. You could talk all this shit about motherfuckers, but you can't take the heat. That's a bitch behavior. You're acting just like a fucking female, you fat fuck. I don't like you, and you're fucking annoying, and cry me a river, bitch. Fuck you. Seriously, I cannot stand your fat bitch ass. You're a fucking liar. And it's annoying that people follow your bullshit, you fat ass. Seriously, how you run your mouth is going to get people fucking hurting yourself. I'm not threatening this man, but other people probably know where you live and will probably come see you. Thank you for watching my video. Like, share, and subscribe, and donate to my cash app. Thank you, and have a nice evening. Love you all. Bye-bye.